Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 28. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are here at today's American parts. And we are going to be upgrading the Chrysler. Uh, so this is exclusive for Chrysler, Saturn, and Cadillac. This uh, aftermarket shop. And no way. There are actually upgrades for this. And they are impressive. First one gets you up to 256. Look at that, 1,020 brake horsepower with 273 miles an hour top speed. This is why this car was overpowered, because it was already overpowered when you started without upgrades. I forgot there was actually upgrades available for this thing. So uh, let's find ourselves a nice straight. We're going to have to give this a try. Oh, not ideal. I'm not even full throttling yet because I want to find this out in just one go. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Holy shit, okay. Holy shit, that's quick. That's quick. That's quick. No way are we already at like 200. Ah, we've crashed. <laughs> that is insane, though. Wow. Jesus. Right, so we're going to take part in the Master Challenge series now. Oh. We go, very nice. Uh, so this is for A-Class vehicles. Obviously, this is quite clearly A-Class the amount of power it has and first off is the southern loop race i need to get into the event before the cops get near me otherwise uh busted right so first of all this is a 0 0.9 mile race for seven laps around the southern loop now hopefully the chrysler even though it has a little bit slower acceleration than some of the other a-class vehicles and less handling i'm hoping Oh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I'm hoping... Um, wow, they're all Chryslers anyway, so... Uh, I don't think it's too much of a problem now. But I was going to say, I'm hoping... That uh, our... Top speed can help us. Uh, by the looks of it, it is anyway, so it doesn't matter. Go very nice. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Oh, that is smooth. Um, I have decided what car I'm going to be using for the big final race, um, and it's not going to be this one, uh, surprisingly. Um, because I feel like this would just like ruin the experience too much. It's a fast car. It's fun to do a couple of races in. And I think I'll do the entire Master Challenge series with it. But uh, after that, I don't think I'll be using it much. Maybe for one of the long events. But not for the longest event. The longest event is reserved for a different car. It's reserved for my favourite car in this game. This used to be my favourite. But uh... I've got new favourites, and so far the favourite car has shifted to something substantially slower than this. Oh no. There we go, nice. This thing is a beast, and I've never seen this car like in any other game. I think there's one. It might be a Forza Motorsport or a Project Gotham Racing, but it's one of the ones on the original Xbox. This car was also in that game. At 
Awesome. We've got a couple more laps left to go. Let's have a look at the interior of this car. It's a very fancy interior. Um, but it's also next to impossible to drive in it. So, um, yeah, we're sticking with this camera view. Alright, on to lap number 6. 2 minutes 32 so far as well. I do remember doing this event, this Southern Loop. Because it was a very short race. Awesome. Slow down, come on. Very nice. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. Get back on track. Perfect. That other Chrysler is catching up, but we have the win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Western Shore has been unlocked. Awesome. Let's go straight to the next event then. Of course, we got this um, for doing the supercar. Um, oh, no restrictions for this one. No restrictions doesn't mean we're not going to take this car though. We're taking this car for all of the ones in this series. Um, and then after that, retiring it. Pretty soon after getting it. We're not going to use it that much. Turn our lights on. Be fancy. See? Oh, it does look good. When you turn the lights on on cars in this game, they look so much better. Okay. I do remember this location, actually. Um, this is quite a nice location to be in. Oh, ho, ho. close. But no cigar. It's very good. Well done. Ouch. I see why this is a uh, master challenge series, because this is uh, much more difficult to drive. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Perfect. If you can, rely on other cars to slow down. Ah, uh, my name is Drifty Man Magee. Oh no, never mind. My name is Speedy Man Magee. This is a tough car to drive. I used to be able to drive it, but uh, again, I also did like 2,000 miles in this car in my playthrough when I was a kid. So, yeah, that also says something about me uh, driving this car way too much. Awesome. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Perfect. Of course, this is seven laps again. But uh, this time, much, much longer tracks. This is going to take about six minutes to finish this race. Ah, oh, no, spun out again. Are we going to get a lap where we don't spin out? I mean, I could do this. Pretend to be the front bumper of the car, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, missed the breaking point. I 
feel like I'm going to end up swapping this car out, to be honest. It's a little bit too much power. A little bit too much for my liking. Which is not a problem. Just I am physically incapable of driving something this powerful. Very good. Right, we're coming up to the lap number five. Very good. Three minutes, 40.555 on the clock. And the car didn't want to slow down. I wonder if this game has analog accelerator and brake. I think it does. Yeah, it has analog accelerator at least. So, based on that fact, it must have analog brakes. Good, we haven't spun out yet. Though we did overshoot the first corner, didn't we? So, uh, still not a perfect lap yet. Perfect. Okay, he's gone well so far. Nice. Okay. I'll say that was a save, just about. Right, here we go. Coming up to the final lap now. And that time didn't actually got a decent lap. It was the first lap that we didn't have a crash or a spin out or anything like that. Turn right, turn left, turn up, turn down. Bitch. Very nice. Okay, cool. One shit. Okay, cool. Ah, ah. Nice. Here we go. Finish line coming up now. And there we go. Block Party has been unlocked. They're actually a really good band. I quite like them. Uh, let's go to the next event then. Helicopter's a good song from them. Right, 1.2 miles. Seven laps. For Block Party. This is a good one. Alright, here we go. Taking the same car again. Which, probably knowing my luck, was a bad idea. I mean, that time, that was the AI cars. They lost control and crashed into us. Yeah, I remember these little cities. And I re hang on. We did this race in Test Drive Unlimited 2, I swear. We went across up here. Around this corner. And then came along this, the main straight. We've done this. In TDU 2. I swear we've done this race. I recognize this route because you come all the way round, you then take a corner towards the right here, and then there's this little middle bit where you take two very tight hairpin turns. Turn 
I don't know anymore. Alright, let's do this. This is going really well so far. The uh, Chrysler has not shown us up yet. And the AI cars are incapable of going around hairpin turns as quick as us. got a V-Rent as well. We haven't uh, properly used the V-Rents because what you're supposed to do um, or what you can do is you can buy cheap cars to get into the clubs and then rent cars that are way more powerful than what you need and it's like an easy win in clubs. And you're supposed to sort of use the Renter cars at the start of the game. But I uh, didn't end up doing that. I prefer buying them anyways. But it is a huge tactic for getting higher up quicker. Do you know one thing we may do for the first time in this series is actually end up lapping the AI cars. Because look how close we are to them. They are not very good at taking these hairpin corners. Awesome. We are catching up so quick now. You can see them in front of us. I can see the back markers. Where are my blue flags? Where are my blue flags? Oh my gosh, overtaking them. That is pretty cool. Where's the FIA when you need them? <laughs> At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Nice. Get round to you. Come on, come on, come on. Awesome. Turn right. This is really good. I really like this track as well. How? This is definitely in TDU2. Without a shadow of a doubt. This has to be in TDU2. There is no other way to explain why I recognize it so well. And it can't be on... Um, well, it might be on TDU console. Uh, for like PS3 edition. But I didn't get far enough forwards into that game. So I wouldn't know. Here we go, finish line. Technically, those guys behind would finish a lap early if it was realistic, but they'll still go round. So, uh, yeah. You'll see them go meow. There you go, see? Uh, 50,000 credits, and we're going to move on to speed 8 now. Which is the fourth race of this series so far. Based on the fact that it's called speed 8, I have a feeling it's going to be a figure of 8 track. It's the only logical explanation for that name. So, And if it's not a figure of 8 track, I'll be sad. It is a figure of eight, but it's not a figure of eight like we know it. There's no crossover. Okay, that was just toxic. You better hope I can catch up with the rest of these AI now. It's the end of the figure of eight as we know it.
Now this is a good track to do like NASCAR on. Like there was so much potential with test drive maps, right? That you could do anything. You find a winding road, you drift on it. You find an oval, you NASCAR on it. And I have a feeling when the new test drive comes out, which I have suspicions on what map, based on the fact that they said one to one map, I have a feeling they're gonna use another one of the Hawaiian Islands. They might do. Because there isn't another map that is sort of like Hawaii size that seems reasonable to do. But whatever they do for this uh, next game, there is going to be so much potential of content and stuff like that. I know I'm going to go crazy for Test Drive when that does come out. I'm going to be Turn making right. extra content for days. Turn right. Here we go. We've done three laps so far now. Oh, wait, no. Not quite yet. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. I'm getting confused on which bit the start line's actually on. Here we go. There's the start line. I have a feeling I know what cars we're going to buy next as well. Might start with a K and end with Koenigsegg. No. Starts with a K, ends with Koenigsegg. <laughs> Nice. It's very good so far. We're just trying to get as many events done today. Uh, and then in the next recording session, clubs, all sorts, mixture. And then hopefully after doing a mixture, the final recording session, or the day after that, I don't know if that will be the final one, but uh, the day after that, we'll finish off all the clubs. But we need to get these clubs done as soon as possible. But based on the fact that we have every single one unlocked, I think that's a result. Awesome. Right, we're on lap number six now, and we're coming to lap again. This is crazy. We're just lapping cars for days. Like the figure of eight should have crossed over a bit. I really do feel like that would have been a better option. Come on. I think that's actually the dealership where you do get the Koenigsegg from. Oh, never mind. We don't need one. We've already got... <laughs> that timing. Oh my god, that timing was perfect. 
literally mentioning that we were going to get a Koenigsegg. <laughs> Say it, pointing out the dealership just before the finish line. And there's a Koenigsegg right there. <laughs> oh dear. Your itinerary is that wasn't how I was planning that to go out. Um, there's another event here, surprisingly. Uh, I wonder what this one is. It's just, uh, just up the road from where we finished. At the next turn right. And the minimap as well has all turn completed right. events uh, removed turn from right. it now. Uh, I've changed that. So, speed bowl. Okay, what's this about then? This is no restrictions, five laps. Well, if there's no restrictions, we're going to go for fastest car. I have a feeling it's just the uh, oval track, though. Right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is a good race. Keep going round and round and round and round. Keep going round and round and round and round. Keep going round and round and round and round. Nice. Okay, on to lap number three. Come on, we got this. Right, lap four. Are we already gonna lap them again? This is insane. If we lap the entire lap before we're not going to lap the entire pack before the end of lap 5, no. I was about to say if we could, but I saw the final car there and was like, yeah, no. We could get the majority of the pack, though. Oh, no. Well, we did have the majority of the pack until we crashed. No, we still do have the majority. Three out of five. There we go. First place, 1 minute 48 for that race. That is the shortest race we've done in this entire series, I think. I'll take an award for that. Your Thank you very much. Right, so I have just bought this. This is a McLaren F1 LM car. Um, and it's fast. Uh, it's quite a fast car. And we're going to take part in this. The Midship... Midship Club, I think it's called. Club midship um and this is all about mid-engined vehicles i think our car is actually allowed uh, mclaren f1 lm so yes and we are going against quite a lot of very fast cars first off is the spiker ca la violette i think that's how you say it if it's not i don't care let's go Right, here we go. We're in the McLaren F1 Le Mans car against a Spiker. Ah, uh, remember the days when Spiker was a thing. I so wish Spiker still was a thing, though. Wasn't it Spiker wasted all their money on F1? And that's why they went bust, because they just couldn't win. Kind of a sad story, actually, because Spiker was, like, one of those luxury cars that started to grow on me. And I really do like Spikers. They are nice cars. Very nice. We're going for speed right now, though. Oh! Busted that. Get back on the road! Oh, come on. Wow. Wow. Alright. 
This time, didn't overshoot the corner, which is lucky. But yeah, Spikers are one of those cars that really did grow on me. And it's such a shame that that company went bust. There's a lot of cars that actually went bust back in the day. Back in the 2000s. And they've... Ooh, there haven't really been many car companies that have just like tried to recover. Um, or tried to just try, really. You don't really see companies nowadays that are starting out that are just like, ah, fuck it, let's make a car and let's see how it goes. You don't see that. Because it's all overtaken by big companies and these big companies are just... To be honest, we all love Lamborghini, we all love Ferrari, we all love Porsche. But these big companies are destroying things. No matter what context you look at, right? Yes, okay, there aren't really any other consoles out there. Other than Xbox and PlayStation. But you think there are companies out there that are destroying the field. And just destroying any other chance of things being things you think? Apple. Apple and Samsung. They're the only companies you think of when it comes to phones. Everything else just meh, brushed under the carpet. Apple's overrated as well. I mean, you're paying £1,500 for a phone. That has the exact same features as a £149 Huawei. But a tenth of the price. I'd rather take the uh, 150 quid phone over the 1000 phone any day of the week. But there we go. A little bit of credits. A little bit of master points. We're going to get absolutely nothing from these clubs now. Right, next up is the Ford GT. Let's go. I didn't realise the Pagani Zonda was classed as... Oh, yeah. The rear wheels are really far back in the Zonda, aren't they? They're, like, right at the back of the car. Yeah, that makes sense now. That that's mid-engine. You can hear that turbo. Wow. That turbo's spooling. I'm impressed by that, actually. A little bit of airtime there. And big air. No way. 790 airtime points. Wow. Okay, we have been overtaken by the Ford GT, but we have plenty of opportunities to get that back. I still can't believe, though, like 700, 800 points just for going up that jump. Ah, uh, the Ford GT managed to get through that very safely. We were pushing it too much. I didn't see that car. It was hidden behind the AI's name. Unbelievable. That is unreal. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.